morning, everybody. Let's talk about the prophetic word again today. I really want you to listen to this message. It's going to be in Psalm uh, 13. Psalm 13 is your homework. Also, Isaiah 46. Read both Isaiah 46 and Psalm 13, okay? The first one is how much, uh, Psalm 13, one says, How much longer will you forget me, O Lord? How much longer will you forget me, O Lord? How many listening to this video right now are saying that very thing? Believe that very thing. Believe that God has forgotten you. That's nonsense. I want you to know right now, wherever you sit, wherever you're listening to this video, that God has not forgotten you. He's a big God. He's got a big brain. He's got a great memory. And he thinks on you in such an amazing way. You need to believe that. You need to be you need to embrace that in this moment. You need to be reminded of those times of how God intervened in intervened in your life right now. When you start thinking that God has forgotten you, think about the things God has already done for you, especially your salvation, especially everything else that he has done. That proves that he has not forgotten you. You may be going through some pretty hard times right now, and it's very convincing that God has disappeared, but that's not true. The Bible says no matter what your feelings are or your circumstances are, the Bible says that God will never leave you. Jesus said, I will never leave you or forsake you. Another encouraging thing is Isaiah 46.10. From the beginning, I predicted the outcome long ago. I foretold what would happen. I said that my plans would never fail that I would do everything I intended to do. Let me say that last part to you again. I said that my plans would never fail, that I would do everything I intended to do. God will complete what he has started in you. He's the one that initiated it. He's really good at completing it. Wait upon the Lord. Renew your strength. When you wait upon the Lord, wait in his word. Wait in telling people about the goodness of God. I would have lost heart if I did not believe I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. God bless you guys.